Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to my studio. In this video, I thought I would share with you how I make stands and or bases for my sculptural pieces of work. When I make a piece that I know is going to be sculptural, I like to create some sort of platform for it, something that really makes it stand out, looks like I followed through with a completion and made something that really makes it uh, display well and also makes it sturdy. A good stand not only gives your artwork lift, it presents it nicely, but it also makes it such that it's durable wherever it's going to be on display. And that's always important. Put a lot of effort into these pieces. You want to make sure that they last. So this piece here is um, a lantern. The front and back, the glass pieces are cut according to a pattern. They're fused together. Then they're slumped over a barrel-shaped mold. So when they're put together, they get this pretty little, you know, curvature going on here. And I thought this base, just this plain old rectangle, would be a nice way to display it. But rather than having the base sitting on the ground or on the table, I wanted it to have a little bit of lift. So this is a piece of quarter-inch clear glass. I work with the quarter-inch because it has a nice thickness to it. It has some substance to it. And if you don't have quarter-inch, or is also known as double thick in your studio, take two pieces of 3 mil, fire, cut them to size, fire them, and make your own you know, platform, and then slump it. So to slump this piece, this very simple shape, I just take this piece of half-inch thick fiberboard. I put it on the kiln shelf or inside the kiln. And then I place the clear glass over it and heat it till it conforms to that mold. Then this comes out of the kiln, and then we glue these two pieces onto that base. And so super simple technique to get a really nice, comfortable base. That, and this base I use this for quite a few things because it's a nice size, it's durable, and it still has some elegance to it. That one out of the picture. Another shape that I like is this half circle. This is just a piece of quarter inch clear glass slumped over the barrel shaped mold. So in order to show you that, right here, I have the barrel shaped mold. I move this out of the way. So here's the barrel shaped mold. Oops, hello. And a piece of glass has been slumped over it. You see it's a quarter inch clear, a little messy from the mold. You just place the clear glass on here flat and heat it to the slumping temperature. You get that nice curvature. And then look at what a beautiful little seat that makes for this piece of art. It takes just a kind of a nice, nicely organic shaped piece from being just something that sits on the table to being something that's definitely art art and definitely sculptural. So I really love this base a lot. I use it for quite a few things. Another base that I like, another shape that I like is this wavy piece. Now we did this over the mold diagonally, but for the base of this one, the way this one's going to be displayed on the wall. So let me move this other stuff out of the way so that I can show you that a little bit more easily. So this is going to be displayed on the wall. So can you see that piece there? That's a piece of quarter inch clear. And we glued it to the back in such a way that this piece will hang on the wall like that. I mean, isn't that really fun? So this piece uh, will hold the artwork away from the wall so light can penetrate and go through it. It's as creative as the art. It, has, it adds a little you know, contour, adds some interest, and it's not just plain. So you can use a wavy mold to give yourself some sort of uh, display like this for, for wall pieces. Here's an example of a piece of glass like we use on the back of this, a smaller sample. And I just have this in my studio in the event that I want to try it out on something. So I've got this little piece handy. Let me show you the mold. Here's the mold that I used to make this wavy piece. Ooh, hello. There we go. It goes on there like that. So it's flat when it starts out. Again, it's quarter inch thick. And then you slump it on the mold, heat it to the slumping temperature, you get this beautiful contour. And then you glue it to the back of your glass. So here's the piece on the mold. Look at that pretty contour. And you can make this any, any size, any shape, depending upon how you want to use it. Let's move that one out of the way. All right. Let me, sorry I'm out of the picture there for a second, but check this out. These are fish that I made from a free flow. And then in order to enhance the sense that it was a school of fish, I slumped a whole bunch of those narrow strips and then glued the fish to the strips. So in this sense, the strips hold, basically hold the artwork together. They hold the fish together. They hold the fish hold the background together. So you get this beautiful wavy contour. Hope you can see that. And so the background, because it looks like waves, adds to the design and the aesthetic of the fish because they go together. You know, waves and fish sort of go together. 
So keep in mind when you're making your base, what can you make that will enhance your art, not just display it? So in this case, this is a wall piece of art, um, wall display. The back really does emphasize the subject matter. So sometimes you want to contrast it, other times you want to enhance it. In this case, we're enhancing it. So let me put this one aside. Now this base right here is simply three pieces of quarter inch double thick glass fused together, but I created a dam to contain it. And that gives me a really nice thick platform. This is great for pieces that are very vertical and something where you want low, prof low profile, but a little bit of weight and a little bit of visual weight to anchor the piece of art. So this is a really nice technique. It's just uh, three or four pieces of four inch pieces of glass cut to four inches stacked together and then you create a dam to contain them while you fire them. Now this is another shape here. I'll bring the whole mold in. This is a S mold. And you can see from the side the shape of it. And here's a piece of glass that I slumped over, another piece of quarter inch. Now this piece you can display like that and it's freestanding. You could do a second one and display it like this. You could put it like this and put a piece of art on here. Any number of uses for this piece. Uh, matter of fact, I keep this around the studio in case I want to test it on a new piece of a new project to see what will make a good display. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how to make these different pieces of, of work and how to make these displays to make your artwork look so much better. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my website, subscribe, sign, become a member. Looking forward to working with you again. Until next time, happy fusing.